Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to come and make this the same thing, basically, but a panel that rotates. And so the way we're going to do that, <clears throat> let's go ahead and um, get rid of this guy. So I'm not messed up. Is I'm going to put a line, <clears throat> two points here that are offset by a distance and put a line between them and then put another point on there that's offset a little bit and draw two lines and host a rotatable rig. So again point, draw on face and then I'm just going to put a point there and I'm going to put a point there and these two I am actually going to change from normalized curve parameter to segment length, right? because they're right at the beginning of the line and I'm going to know what I want that segment length to be. So if I go to segment length, I can then put a parameter on this <clears throat> and I'll name this point rotate offset V. All right. All right, let's just name it offset for now. No need to get fancy. <clears throat> and then I'll uh, put the same one on here. Okay, and then I can go reference line and make sure 3D snapping's on and draw a, point, a line from here to here. Now I'm going to put a point on these line, on this line here and here, <clears throat> and I'll set this one at the same offset that I set. Um, whoops! First, I want to change it from normalized curve distance. So I'll do segment again, and then I'll put this at the same parameter as the point rotate offset. And I'll do the same thing over here. Now the problem is with the segment length, it would pull it all the way back over there, right? So if I go to segment length, I'm much at a much further distance, but I can flip the way it's reading it. So I'm gonna go to end, and then I'll put the parameter on after that and it should click into place right and so really what I kind of want this to be is where does it offset that rotation so it'll be the size of the tube about right about half the size of the tube so um, let's go ahead and put the lines on there and I'll go to reference line and I'll set this guy current making sure that I'm on draw and work plane and that 3D snapping's off. It will snap to this line, but I want it to draw vertically or horizontally here. And then I'm going to pick this guy and make this dimension permanent. Instead of dimensioning it, sometimes you can make it permanent. And I'll put a parameter on this and I'll call it um, top panel length, right? Okay, and then I'll do the same thing over here. So reference line set. This is the current plane, and then draw out and pick this and set that to the same top panel length. Now the nice thing about these angle, these little points, is if I pick them, they have an angle rotation on them. So I can go in and either manually rotate it to 45, right, and put it back to zero, or I can assign a parameter to it. So I'm going to assign a parameter, and I'll name this angle. Click, a, click OK, click OK, and then I'll put the same parameter on this guy here, angle. And then this isn't absolutely necessary, but I'm going to put a couple of points on the end of the lines here and make sure that they host to that just so I can see them. Sometimes, I don't know, it just makes it easier. So now I'm basically going to repeat the same process that I did before, right? I'm going to come in and actually let's just do this. I'll just put a, put a reference line there. I need one anyway to create the, let's delete that. Um, to create the frame. So now what I'm going to do is I need a, a rectangle um, 
to come in here and create this frame. So I'm just going to go to reference line and I'll pick and make sure that 3D snapping is on and I'll snap to the end point of that to the end point of that and then I also need a separate line here because this one goes all the way so I'll just go reference line from here to here to here and then I'll also need one no I don't need that one that last one Right, I've got that one, that one, that one, and that one. So there's my sweep. So now I do the exact same thing. I'll go to point, or actually let's just pick, um, let's just pick one of these guys, right? Ugh, wish it wasn't so tall. It really annoys me, but that's all right. Um, and copy it. Get rid of the constraint. Copy that over there. Get rid of the constraint and copy it over here again. Oh, I only need one of them for this one because it's a circular one. So let's just, I think we'll need one in a minute anyway. So I'll pick this point and pick new host right there. And then pick that, hold down the control key, pick that and pick that and create form. All right, so I wasn't picking the form, so I was like, oh, is it broken? But I actually just picked a dimension. So you just have to be careful um, to come in and pick this. Hold down the control key, pick that line, and then I'll pick that line, that line, and I actually picked a dimension over here because it was a little bit in the way. And then you can create form, and it'll sweep, right? It swept that guy around there. So I think the only thing we have left now is this center point here so same kind of thing so I'll go ahead and hide this guy of course it's now in the middle of my recording will not show the bottom of my of my screen so let's just go ahead and pull this guy out um, and so Let's go ahead and hide this guy and I'm going to put a point on the center here and on the center here. Right, I'm just going to draw a line there, making sure that 3D snapping is on and the same, same kind of thing, right, I don't know what that is extra little thing. I'll come in here and pick this point and pick new host and put that there and then let's just copy it copy that guy get rid of the constraint super fun right and then we'll just pick a new host and pull these guys together and create form and this guy can go to zero and this guy whoops this guy can go to one and let's reset the temporary height isolate and then we'll just join that guy and that guy and then you'll see, let's make the, the um, offset. This one would be the tube size. Let's say 
plus 2, right? And then I don't know how big the top panel is going to be. I haven't figured out how to get that. So let's just make it 400 for right now. See what that does. Nope, more than that. So that's about right there. All right, so, um, and then we can, you can look at the rotate. We've got that angle. So if I go 45 and hit apply, right, it rotates that guy, rotates that guy down. Okay. All right. So when I come back, we'll put the sort of um, centerpieces in.